In this section of the second grade measuring length and time unit, students will find the lengths of objects using concrete models for standard units of metric length. Students will also explore and describe the inverse relationship between the size of a unit and the number of units needed to measure the length of an object. Materials include unit cubes, base 10 longs, decimeter hands printables, string or yarn, crayons, scissors, tape, classroom objects to measure, and student recording sheets. Students will use unit cubes to measure the length of objects. Because each unit cube has a length of exactly one centimeter, unit cubes can be lined up end to end to measure an object's length in centimeters. Students in second grade are expected to measure to the nearest whole unit. Often when measuring the length of objects, the object does not line up perfectly with the end of a unit cube. When this happens, students should measure to the closest centimeter. If the object falls less than halfway along the edge of the last unit cube, the last unit cube is not counted. If the object falls more than halfway along the edge of the last unit cube, the last unit cube is counted. In this example on the crayon, we can see that the end of the crayon falls less than, less than halfway along the edge of this last unit cube, so we're not going to count it. The crayon is about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine unit cubes or nine centimeters long. In this activity, students will be introduced to a decimeter as a unit of metric length. A base 10 long is exactly one decimeter and can be used to measure length, width, height, or distance. 10 unit cubes has the same length as a decimeter. Students should line up base 10 longs end to end with no gaps while measuring. Students should measure to the nearest whole decimeter. In this example, the length of the color pencil box is about one, two decimeters. The length is about two decimeters. Because it is difficult to measure height with base 10 longs, the decimeter hands will be used to measure height. Decimeter hands can be taped to a wall to allow students to measure their heights in decimeters or the heights of other objects. In this example, the bottle of hand sanitizer is about one, two, three decimeters tall. In this activity, students will be introduced to a meter as a unit of metric length. Teachers will need to prepare a piece of string or yarn that is exactly one meter long. Model lining up 10 base 10 longs to show that it is equal in length to a meter string. Just as one base 10 long is exactly one decimeter, the meter string is exactly one meter and can be used to measure length, width, height, or distance. Students should notice that the length of each base 10 long is shorter than a meter string, the length of each meter string is longer than a base 10 long, and it takes 10 base 10 longs lined up end to end to equal the length of a meter string. 10 decimeter hands can also be lined up end to end to equal the length of a meter string. Students should have opportunities to practice measuring length, width, height, or distance using meter strings. Meter string task cards and a recording sheet have been provided. Although students are not expected to understand equivalent relationships between units of length in second grade, such as 10 centimeters being equivalent to one decimeter, students are expected to understand the relationship between the size of a unit and the quantity of units needed to measure a length. Students should measure the same object or distance using more than one measurement unit. In this example, the length of a color pencil box has been measured with centimeters and decimeters. The length is about two decimeters long. The length is about 10, 20, 21 centimeters long. Students should be able to answer questions such as, which unit do you need more of to measure the length and why? Centimeters, because centimeters are shorter than decimeters, so it takes more centimeters to measure the same length. Which unit do you need less of to measure the length? Why? Decimeters, because decimeters are longer than centimeters, so it takes fewer decimeters to measure the same length. Students should understand that when measuring an object or distance, the shorter the unit of length, the more units will be needed to measure. The longer the unit of length, the fewer units will be needed to measure. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Elementary Math Minutes. We hope you'll find these videos helpful and we look forward to you joining us next time. See you then.